Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about my new mod that I've just released, Persona Mod. For those of you who do not know what Persona Mod is, or Persona in general, that's just fine. I'll try to make this in a way that both Persona players and new people can understand. For some background, Persona Mod was started around basically last year at this exact time. It's been de in development for about a year now. It's been quite a trip. I've spent a lot of time on this mod, working almost five days a week on it. And, of course, it was definitely worth the wait. It ac had actually been postponed twice because I didn't want to release it too early. Anyway, let's jump into the basics of the mod. As you've been seeing on screen, I've already summoned my first persona, Arson. As you can see, each persona has their own abilities and own stats. Each stat and ability has different effects. Now, there's something you should know. There's a level system for both players and personas in this mod. They both gain XP at different rates, but they'll both gain XP any time they defeat a player or an NPC. Now, these levels are not just for show, they're very important. And they actually impact the way that the combat takes place in this mod. As you can see, whenever I'm locked onto an enemy, you can see their experience points that you'll gain from them, as well as their level and health. When comparing stats between yourself and your enemies, it's important to understand that the level difference will highly impact the amount of damage and other things that you do. Right now, I am a level 99. My persona is maxed out at level 99. However, our opponent is also a level 99, so therefore, the damage that we're going to do is going to be roughly base damage. However, when it comes to enemies that have a higher level than you, they're going to receive less damage. And depending on their persona stats, they could even reduce that damage some more. The stats that will mainly impact attack damage is the strength factor of the persona. If a persona has a high strength factor, but their level is too low, the damage is going to be reduced from what it should be. And as you can see on screen, the persona I'm using is called Orpheus. Orpheus is a low-level persona that you start out with in Persona 3. Now, I'm going to pick a pretty decent skill from the skill menu that comes with this mod. Regardless of the skill's power, my persona is still, well, still started off as a low level, so its stats, despite increasing throughout its level ups, are still low compared to other personas. So as you can guess, despite this powerful attack, I'm going to do minuscule damage to such a powerful opponent. One thing that's unique about Yu Narukami is that he changes personas based on his health. And because he's already at half, half health, he already has a very strong persona, which is reducing the damage even more. You should also understand that each persona has a different weakness and strength. Some can even nullify and reflect damage back at other enemies. However, not all NPCs and players are resistant to insta-kills. As you can see, I performed an insta-kill called Doors of Hades on you. And in this scene, we are taking on Yunarkami in a shadow form, just to showcase what some of the combat would look like between players and NPCs. As you can see there, his persona Izanagi is resistant to curse damage, or rather it nullifies it. But as you can see, I hit him with a critical which knocked him on the ground and made him more vulnerable to damage and he took the curse damage because his persona was no longer present. 
This will also happen to players if their personas are not present in combat. Each physical skill and persona has different critical rates. Originally, the mod was supposed to have a miss rate as well, similar to the original Persona games. However, after playtesting for quite a while, I could tell you that the miss system made the mod less fun. As you can see, he summoned a more powerful version of Izanagi, named Izanagi Picaro. I also changed my persona, which means my stats completely changed. He's able to deal more damage though, because his persona is more powerful. And if you also noticed, there's been music in the background, as well as a new heads-up display. This is a feature called Battle Mode that's unique to this mod. In Battle Mode, anytime you enter combat with an NPC or player, this nice little catchy music will play. There's multiple soundtracks that you can listen to that are randomly selected, and some are even unique to certain NPCs. Battle Mode can be customized, of course, in the Persona menu such as forcing enemies to be positioned around you, and to only target NPCs that are visible to you. And as you also saw, I used some items. This mod comes with items for both HP and SP. SP is used to use magical attacks from your personas, and HP is used for physical attacks from your personas. This also applies to NPCs, as you're seeing in combat. These NPCs do not have any kind of, you know, freebies. They take the same amount of HP and SP as you would. The only time this does not take effect is for raid bosses such as these. These shadows, I've deemed them as raid bosses, could do to their power. On to the next thing, my favorite, the dance system. I spent a lot of time on the dance system. It allows you to replay the Persona Dancing Trilogy in Gary's Mod. While not all costumes and characters and songs are available, more will be added over time. Some costumes are specific to certain songs and scores. However, by activating cheats, you can bypass these checks and use any costume, regardless if you've unlocked them. And one thing that's unique about these dancers is a lot of them have generated facial expressions that are not hand-coded by myself. So each time you play a song, you get some pretty unique facial expressions while they're dancing. I'm going to showcase this song here. Now I'll tell you one thing, I recommend you play with a controller, as this mod does support controllers. I for one suck ass at playing this on keyboard, and it doesn't help that my 2K monitor is like too big for my eyes to spot all the corners. Another thing to note is that these notes are randomly generated, which, to some of you, you might be mad about. I too do not like them. I tr at one point I tried loading the data directly from the game, so I could get perfect note spots, but that did not work out. In the future though, I'll be hand coding them. As some of them have already been hand coded, they're just disabled at the moment. And in this feature, I'm going to show you the cinematic camera, which is randomly generated. As well as perfect play mode, if you just want to enjoy a 
perfect note jam. Fun fact, Chad Narukami was the first dancer to be ported for this mod. As you can see, we got a score boost for getting so many successful hits. All this does is boost your score a little bit while it's active. Next, I'm going to showcase the party system. The party system is a very basic feature of this mod, but what it allows you to do is that while you're in combat with your personas, you'll be able to heal and do other effects to your allies that are in your party, as well as not damage them on accident. Usually, if you try to fight with your persona and there's friendlies nearby, you're going to damage them if they're not in your party. This is an intentional feature, just in case you want to battle some allies. Trying to get the perfect distance for him. As you can see, my allies are healing myself and each other. And they can also give each other boost. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short overview of the mod. I know it was kind of sped through, but honestly this mod is best played by experience it firsthand. If you have any questions, of course just ask it on the mod, or look it up on the Persona wikis. A lot of the stuff in this mod is a direct port from the game, and the ideas are from the game themselves. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching.